because they are peas. And that's actually, you dry them out, and that's actually what you plant. What inspired me to do the school garden program is the children. I am a huge advocate of the, using the outdoor environment for learning, and I believe that you can get a lot out of just being outdoors. We start in the spring by planting seeds inside the classroom, and then when it gets warmer, after danger of frost, we take the plants out and we put them in the garden. The children measure their growth, they water them, they collect rainwater, and then when they start producing fruit, they harvest them, we bring them in, we make snacks and canned salsa and pickles and pass them around to our families and other classrooms and that continues as the you know summer progresses and then at the end of the season when the plants are done producing, we tear down the garden and we pull out the plants and we get ready for the winter. And then in November we also still plant some more because we put garlic in the ground to get ready to come up in the spring, which we actually have some that's sprouting out there now. It seems like if they, growing them themselves, they kind of almost feel like, oh, I have to try that, you know, I grew that myself. I had a child in my classroom in the past that would not eat, uh, you know, regular fruit or vegetables. She still wanted to eat them crushed like baby food. So when she grew her own tomato plant, she went out there and the first ripe red tomato she found, she said, I'm gonna try this, and she did and she loved it. I have watched them, you know, come closer together as a group. Their self-esteem, you know, is built up and, you know, this is mine. Like, I grew this from a seed and they are always out there making sure it has enough water and so you can just see in their actions and then the way that they explain it to the other classrooms. Like, you know, I, I worked really hard on this garden. Maybe we shouldn't play that over here by these plants. Let's be careful because there are babies. Kids will go home and they'll talk about what they did today. Like, Mom, I got to use a shovel. I got to dig in the dirt. I, I found a worm in the dirt. There was a snake in the garden today. The conversations that they can actually have, you know, with their parents and just what they learned about, you know, having respect for the environment. That's what they take home with them. Come on, take my hand, let's go to school.